Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you. This is Pastor Carlos Rivera with uh, the Walking in the Spirit program right here this morning. And uh, it's uh, we do this every weekday at 7 a.m. And it's always a blessing, always an honor. God bless you. Good to, good to see you. Glad you made it. Let Derek Underwood, blessings to you, my brother. Man, I just want to let you know you bless me, my brother. Every time I see you on security, man, you are so faithful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Deanna Caberson, God bless you, my generous sister. Michael Cook, my temple maintenance brother. Geraldine Wade Henry. All right, Brady Richmond, God bless you, Brad. Amen. Sharon Johnson, God bless you as well. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Absolutely. Ivy McNeil, good to have you, Ivy. Hilda Bryant, my dear cousin, God bless you as well. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Lisa Ekman, come on. Hope you're feeling better. Kim Super Cooper, good to have you. Peggy Stevens, Yvonne Harrison. Of course, it's Kay and Dre May. They've made their way today. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Geraldine. Uh, terrific Tuesday. Yes, it is. That's right. We woke up this morning. Whenever we wake up and we open our eyes and we see the light of day, it is a good morning. Amen. Charlotte Metcalf, God bless you as well. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so glad the message blessed your family. Man, I'm, I got a message for this Sunday that I'm super excited about as well. Thank you so much for the encouraging words. Rick Tipton, God bless you, Rick. Good to have you with us this morning as well. Always holding it down, man. Praise God. Michelle Holloway, man, praying for you. I've been praying hard for, for you guys, you and, and Bo. And, and you know what? God is good. God is good. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're waiting just a couple more minutes. I'm going to wait one more minute. We're going to get started. Norman, God bless you. Norman and Marie. I heart, <laughs> amen, love you guys, you guys are amazing, Beatrice Dunbar, yes, Beatrice, God bless you, Lauren Gray is here today as well, come on, April Beach, God bless you, my dear sister, so glad you and Stuart and the family are part of the family here at New Life as well, oh, my sister Janet Rivera from Chicago, Janet Rivera, Dietrich, good morning, good morning, rise and shine, my beautiful baby sister. You're my baby sister. You're like the baby. <laughs> All right. Yes. Good morning. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Believing God for all kinds of great things. Mirac um, I'm sorry. Marie Immacula. Sharon Johnson. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Well, listen, guys. Delfilio Ortiz, my brother from the Bronx. Come on, I know you're on board big time, bro. So it's good to have you with us this morning. Well, let me go ahead and get started, guys. Oh, Andre Ross has brought the sauce. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. Well, praise God. I want to get started this morning. And listen, we're, we're going we're to start off just taking off. We're going to take off. We're going to get aggressive. We're going to be assertive this morning. And this is the title of my gathering, Command Sickness to Leave. Come on, here we go. Command sickness to leave. I believe that we need to take authority, all right? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for your word this morning, Lord God. Just use it and talk to us in Jesus' name, amen. Command sickness to leave. Listen, drop this in the chat right now. What you resist becomes weaker. Mm, come on now, drop, just drop it in the chat right now, all over the house. What you resist becomes weaker. And the more you resist it and resist it, the weaker it gets. And I'm talking about sickness. Look what Exodus chapter 23, verse 25 says. And you shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless your bread and your water. And, and look what it says. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Mm, and I will take sickness away from the, in the midst of you. See, I believe that it's so important that we understand that God doesn't want us sick. He wants us healthy. Listen, you can't enjoy wealth if you're not in good health. Mm, come on now. Drop that in the chat. You can't enjoy wealth if you're not in good health. 
See, God wants you well. We need to know that. He wants your he wants you healthy in your body, in your mind, and in your spirit as well. He, God wants you complete. He wants you whole. And we have to get to a place. And, and, I, and I know, listen, we're in a broken, fallen world and sicknesses do happen. But that doesn't have to mean that we settle for them. That doesn't mean that we don't we don't attack it and say, you know what? No, you are cross. You are uh, uh, you are trespassing. You do not belong in my life. See, in the Old Testament, he even gave Israel a diet. He gave them dietary laws regarding foods that they were to avoid. Now, listen carefully, because I believe this is so important, and we have to be super conscious of this. Now, listen, I'm over the top. I read every label of everything I eat. I look at things and I created a dietary plan for my own personal self. And it's made a huge difference in my life. I mean, literally, I've lost probably about close to 44 pounds and I've kept it off for five years. Think about that, saying because I am very conscious about what I eat. I just am. I've gotten to the point that I can't expect good health if all I eat is junk. At the end of the day, I'm just keeping it real. I want to bless you guys. I want you walking in health and in strength. And there's certain things that you can do and certain foods that you can eat that actually are positive for your body and actually help your body's immune system get stronger as well. So God did that. God gave them a dietary plan when they went into the desert. Think about that. He gave them laws to how, of how to eat because he didn't want them sick. Uh, he didn't want them out there, especially when they're in the desert and, and, they're, and they're out there struggling, right? Uh, they wanted to eat certain foods so that their bodies would be strong so that they wouldn't get sick because they were on the move, right? And, and listen, disobedience brought sickness. Obedience brought health. When the people obeyed the dietary laws that God gave them, they remained healthy. You know, and of course, obedience brought health and when the disobedience when you put things in your body that don't belong there and that have all kind of preservatives and, and just i mean processed stuff and it's just i mean when you read the label and you can't even, you can't even read half the words because it's got you know uh, this kind of acid and then sulfates and prof, uh, pros, prosphates and <laughs> just all just all kind of stuff man that's all chemicals y'all so listen, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm being because I want you guys to be really, really healthy. I think that's something God wants for every single one of us. And we cannot self-inflict sicknesses because that's what happens when you put the wrong foods in your body. God did it. God put the dietary laws out there. And I believe that if you follow the laws, uh, uh, and of course, and just start reading about and being uh, proactive, you'll find out that, man, it can make such a huge difference in your energy, in your thinking, and in your health. Amen. See, obey God today and command, listen, then begin to command sickness and disease to depart from you and your household in Jesus' name. Take authority. Amen. But you know what? Do what you're supposed to do. Eat what you're supposed to eat. And I guarantee you health will come into your body. Don't accept those pills. Don't accept that. You have to take them when you have the sickness. But your idea, your goal should be to get away from all that medication and walk healthy so you can be wealthy and wise. Amen. And listen, I believe that when we start walking that way, they will start seeing God moving in every other area of our lives. Uh, the discipline that it takes to do the right thing in one area will carry into the next. And I believe that as we walk through life, I think we should believe that God is always surrounding us. That God is always protecting us. Amen. Listen, drop that in the chat right now. Uh, 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 expect supernatural protection. Expect it. Plan on supernatural protection. Exodus 23, 22 says, but if you shall indeed obey his voice, listen to me, if, but if you indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries. See, every day of your life, the enemy will make attempts to destroy you, to destruct things around you. I mean, the Bible says that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy 
So you see, we have an adversary that is constantly coming against us in the spirit realm, especially if you're doing God's will, especially if you're plugged in to doing the work of God as well, because God's called every one of us and given us an assignment, right? And when you're operating in your assignment, expect resistance, expect things to oppose you as well. See, the, Job, the story of Job illustrates this very clearly. See, you are really not capable of totally pre uh, protecting yourself. We're not. There are things that we can't see flying through the air. There are spiritual issues that are happening around us as well. See, we require supernatural intervention every single day. That's why every morning I preach about protection. I say, God, thank you for protecting us. See, plan on supernatural protection daily. That's right, daily. Call it out, man. Call it out, especially with all the stuff that's flying around in the air. Listen, it is one of your rewards. Trust me, protection is one of your rewards for hourly obedience, for consistent obedience. God rewards us, amen, with protection and health. And I believe it's super important for us to understand that, that God, drop this in the chat right now, Put a hedge of protection around me today. That's right. That no matter what happens, this, I believe we're going to get to heaven one day. And we're, it's going to be so powerful because we're going to see where God protected us. And it's not always where God takes us that makes the difference. It's where, it's where God doesn't take us. Come on, somebody. That makes a difference. Drop that in the chat. It's not where God takes us. It's where God doesn't take us that protects us in many cases, amen? Praise God. And I believe when we walk that way, man, we can expect God's blessings in our lives. That's right. We can expect God's blessing when we walk in obedience, when we expect, because he protects us and he blesses us, amen? See, drop that in the chat right now. Expect God's blessings. In Psalms 84, 11, God's word says, no good thing will I withhold from them that walk uprightly. See, blessings are guaranteed to those who walk according to the Lord. Drop that in the chat right now. Blessings are guaranteed to those who walk with God. See, you've listened. See, many of us have done it. Listen, I want you to listen carefully, especially y'all that come on every morning, man. You guys are so blessed. You're listening. You've heard and you've obeyed the instructions of God. So when you listen and you hear, not enough just to listen, but you hear, you internalize it, and then you obey God's instructions, you're going to walk in God's blessings. That's what God's word says. I'm not going to hold anything back from those that walk uprightly. See, now expect miracles. And you begin to expect that people say, wow, well, isn't that kind of presumptuous? No, it's not. It's faith. It's faith that says, when I align myself with the, with the God that created the whole universe, that spoke and light happened, that spoke and all the stars came in this, in, in the, in, into place. Think about that. That's the God that you and I serve. So we walk according to his word. Not, we're not being presumptuous. We're using faith. Because remember, it's God who does it, not us. Come on, we're not buying our way there. We're believing God for his word. He he promised it. He declared it. So we're going to believe it. Amen. See, benefits are blessings from, from God that increase our joy. That's right. When God blesses us, your joy, which is our strength, begins to rise up as well. And of course, and enables us to complete his instructions for our life. That's right. The instructions that God gives us are not always easy. But when we're walking in joy, come on, somebody. When we're walking in joy, then we can move into and move into God's best and move into God's fullness. Amen. And He does, and God does that. He knows what we need in our lives, not just to not just to survive, but to thrive. Amen. Listen, if gas goes up, if the cost of food is going up, I was shopping yesterday. I saw the cost of food, even in Lido, right? Where, where it used to be, because I've shopped there all the time and I saw the increase. Even if there's increase in things around us, and you know what I expect? I expect God to increase me. Come on, somebody, increase what I need to bring in as well. So, amen. So that so that now, even though things around me are going up, then you know what? Praise God, Hallelujah, Lord, open a door, make a way, increase finances, so that this won't affect me. If things are going up around me, then God provide as well. And let me tell you this: there's no shortage of 
power in heaven and God can do what he needs to do to bless you so it won't affect you. Amen. See, listen, I believe they are promises. They are promised. What God speaks right now are promises only to the obedient. Listen to me. Obedience is always rewarded. Drop that in the chat. Obedience is always rewarded. That's right. When you walk in obedience, God wants to reward you because he doesn't see obedience very often. Come on, somebody. Obedience is the only real proof of your faith in God. Come on, drop that in the chat right now as well. Obedience is the only real proof of your faith in God. And I believe that with all my heart. I believe that God is doing great and mighty things. And we need to begin to command sickness to be gone. We need to plan on supernatural protection. We need to expect God's blessings, especially when we walk in uh, obedience to his word. Amen. Praise God. Come on, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We praise you this morning. Hallelujah for your word. Uh, hallelujah, Lord God, that your word is encouraging this morning. And Father, I thank you, Lord God, that your will, not our will, Lord God, but your will be done this morning on earth as it is in heaven, oh God. And Lord, I thank you for providing for every area of our lives today. I thank you for our daily bread, oh God, this day, that we can walk fulfilled in you and know that you provided for everything we need this day. And Lord, I thank you right now that you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for providing for every area. And Lord, forgive us of our sin. Forgive us of our trespasses. Lord God, cleanse us right now, Lord God. Forgive us for our shortcomings, Lord God. Let the blood of Jesus cover every sin in our lives right now, Lord God, that we can walk in your blessing. And help us as you forgive us, Father. Help us to forgive others as well. That we will not hold on to any, any kind of grudges against anyone, Lord God. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the power to forgive others. We thank you for the release right now in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you even now for your protection. <laughs> Lead us not into temptation, Father, but deliver us from evil. Thank you for protecting us and guarding us and being a fence around us, hallelujah, being a hedge around us, Father. We just thank you and we praise you for your protection this day in Jesus' name. And Father, right now I just thank you and I praise you, my God. And right now we command every sickness and every disease to leave our body right now in Jesus' name. And Father God, I pray that you'll give us the strength, Lord God, to obey your dietary laws, Father God, to begin to put in good things into our, into our bodies, Father God, good things that will strengthen us and make us healthy in Jesus' name. And Father God, I thank you, Lord God, and I pray and I thank you for your supernatural protection that guards us every single day. Because do we know there's traps that the enemy sets and snares that he sets, but we know that you know how to get around them, Lord God, and you know how to bless us, so continue to protect us and guide us, oh God, every single day in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you right now, Lord, for your blessings. I thank you for you blessed us so much, my God. So help us, Lord. Help us to be blessed. Help us to walk in the fullness of your blessing. Help us, Father God. We know, Lord, that you've called us to walk in prosperity and in joy and in strength and in good health, Lord God, and in wealth as well so we can bless many, oh God. So, Lord, help us to walk in that every single day. And as we obey your word, we thank you for the reward that comes with obedience to your word in Jesus' name. And Father God, as we pull out our prayer list right now, Lord God, we just lay hands on it right now. And we pray even this moment, Lord God, for, for divine uh, leading and guiding. I pray that, you're, that we pray for salvation for those right now that are on our list. In the name of Jesus, my God, that they will just come to the foot of the cross. That they will know, oh God, that you are the Lord of all. So Lord, thank you for saving them. Thank you for touching them right now in Jesus' name. And Father God, we pray for divine healing, Lord God. It's by your stripes that we were healed. We just thank you, Lord God, for that promise this morning in Jesus' name. 
And Father God, we, we pray for chains to be broken off of people, chains of bondage, of addictions, of pornography, chains, oh God, of things that need to be broken off their lives, depression, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, oh Father, uh, any kind of disruption, Lord God, I pray that against those things right now, my God. I pray against that fear. Uh, I pray against fear right now. I come against that spirit of fear. You have not given a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. I pray, oh God, against worry right now that we will not worry around about anything, oh God, but in all things through prayer and supplication, make our Make our, our request known unto you with thanksgiving, O oh God. And then we know the peace will come. So, Lord, thank you that we don't have to worry, that we can trust you for every area of our lives. And we, I come against every spirit of doubt right now, that when doubt your word, that would come against our faith. In the name of Jesus, devil, you are a liar. You're a deceiver. And right now, we have no doubts about your word, oh God. We believe every single word. We believe your word more than we believe anything else around us. More than we believe doctors. More, more than we believe lawyers. More than we believe what people are saying, what the news says. We believe your word. There is no doubt that we are blessed and we're walking in your protection. In Jesus' name. And Father God, thank you for restoring relationships, for reconciling marriages, oh God. I thank you that every day we proclaim it and we declare it that we'll be more wonderful and more loving and caring towards our spouses, Father God. That they are a gift in our lives, oh God. So Lord, help us to treat them like a gift, Father, in the name of Jesus and Father God, thank you for supernatural miracles this morning. Oh, let the miracle working power of Jesus Christ be loosed upon us right now, Lord God. Begin to unload your miracles right now, Father God. Supernatural favor, Lord Father. Even now, let your favor rest on your people, Father God. Let your doors, the, the uh, doors of opportunity, doors of blessings open up around us. New relationships that will help us to go further, faster. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father God, even now, Lord, for all those miracles and, and favor. And, and I thank you that even now, Lord God, bless your people, Lord God, in every area of their lives. Let their dreams be manifested. Let their goals be achieved right now in Jesus' name. Let your plan, Father God, become real, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we just thank you this morning for you're such a good God. We thank you and we're always going to make sure, my God, that you get all the glory, that you get all the honor, and that you get all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, clap. Put your claps in the chat. <coughs> Excuse me. Put your claps in the chat right now in the name of Jesus. And man, what an awesome, 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 awesome gathering. Man, God is so good. God is perfect. God is awesome. And I just I just want to thank every single one of you guys for joining me this morning. And you know, I, I know uh, in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, I always close with a scripture. I want to encourage you with this word. And the word says, be strong, courageous in the Lord. Come on, be strong and courageous for the Lord will be with you wherever you go. Come on, somebody. Joshua 1, 9. That's the word for you today. Listen, be courageous. Be strong. Know that God is with you, that you are not alone. Come on, somebody. You are always surrounded by the power, the, the majesty, by the angels of the most high God. Come on. Praise God. Well, listen, God bless you. And uh, tonight there'll be a prayer gathering right at the church. So make sure you come out and join Pastor Martin. Amen. Bring him, uh, bring people out. Pray. If you got prayer needs, make sure you tap into that prayer gathering. I believe God will bless you in a great and mighty way. Amen. Praise God. Listen, have a glorious rest of the day. All right, walk in God's blessings. And remember, tomorrow we're having a praise party at church. You don't want to miss this, man. This is the best, most amazing, most powerful, uh, one of our most powerful services. And we get together just to praise, just to, man, just to soak up God's presence. I'm telling you, you want to be there 
tomorrow night, 7 p.m. at the church. Amen. Praise God. Well, listen, let me pray over you right now as we leave this place. Heavenly Father, I just thank you and I praise you for my brothers and sisters, those that are traveling, surround, and camp your angels around them and bless them, Father God. Get them safely to their destinations, to work or home or wherever they're going. And Father, I pray your blessing upon them. Bless them and keep them. Shine your face upon them. Be gracious to them. Lift up your countenance towards them and give them your peace that surpasses all understanding. We thank you and we praise you this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, listen, God bless you. Thanks again for joining me here at Walking in the Spirit. Invite your friends, man. Invite people to come out and join us. Because remember, if you make God, if you if you say that God is first in your life, then you should be first in your day. Amen. Praise God. Well, listen, have a glorious day. And always remember that when you're walking in the Spirit, you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Amen. God bless you. And Lord willing, I'll see you again right back here again, 7 a.m. tomorrow morning with Walking in the Spirit. God bless.